to me like so i'm back right and y'all are like oh you know what i feel like i feel like a battered wife so back in the day there was this like advert name yeah charlie's Tehran. she came to the country her motherland uh and she did a campaign against uh, gender-based violence like long ago back before it even got given that acronym gbv mm. and she sat there basically speaking against south african men and how they're so abusive stop beating the women up and um everybody was like lambasting her how dare you underestimate us because you now live in america how dare how dare you and i feel like charlie's turn on i feel like don't you see you got gender-based violence as an issue look at us now all these years down the line it's literally the worst pandemic in the country south africa is the worst nation to live in as a female and charlie's turn on say south african men you'll need to stop doing the stuff hey it's messed up and south african men were like you're in america stop dissing us and south african women stood up and they were like you know what like you go back to your america since you left us and stop undermining our men and now today we are the worst country to live in as a woman you know when you refuse to take heeding and then alongside the, those whole those gbv adverts that were being done back in the day ne? there was another one of this one woman uh she was beaten up she had like a blue eye a white lady and she kept on saying i'm never going back to him i'm never going back to him like a tape recording that keeps on rewinding i'm never going back to him i'm never going back to him yeah i feel like that lady a battered wife first of all i feel like charlie's Theron, like warning a whole bunch of people that don't realize they've got a problem but like 10 20 years down the line it's going to be clear that she was right and secondly i feel like a battered wife that keeps on coming back to a husband that uh, and i'm like no nah, lord i'm not the kind of person to do that remember i'm way too good at goodbye but here it is that i'm partaking in the sufferings of christ snatching souls out from a platform full of dizzy folk undertaken by the magic spells of china and for the life of me i don't know how to defibrillate them back to life and i feel like a battered wife returning to a bad man but the lord was like robo when i say go back go back whether or not you have this belief in your call that this here is a totally entirely overly and excessively bewitched platform that can't be resuscitated and i was like but i don't want to go back and god is like well guess what and she, 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 you're going back so i'm back Nineveh. if you don't want to wear sackcloth and ashes and repent it doesn't matter because my angel investor is here i know we should not be looking at what's in it for me what's in it for me exactly what's in it for me i want to know what's in it for me what's in it for no it's not about that ain't about that business what's in it for you is irrelevant at this point it's about what i'm doing as the king of the universe and i'm like oh wow Alrighty, i get it and the lord is like y'all you're totally leaning on your own say it with me now understanding so tiktok i don't appreciate what you did to me i hope you unfollowed me uh i really hope you you unfollowed me or and thirdly and you are in dire need of being healed um, and thirdly or am i fourthly now against my better judgment embarrassingly so despite having a reputation being good at goodbye mm. yeah my infj door slam has failed me abysmally as a christian it is the one thing that christ has been humbling for literally all of my redeemed life 11 years yonke been trying to slam doors on former friends well i think i might have done that successfully hallelujah god wanted me out of my uh, one of them out of my life anyway but family member i have tried to door slam my mom i've tried to door slam my two sisters i tried to door slam my dad before he died i tried to door slam my uh un cousins you know uncles yeah yeah on some footsie baby game you know what now me i got my own currency i can show you what you can show you and spice paraffin i can show you steam and smoke i can show you flames now me and then i found myself literally immersed amidst them yet again because i became so impoverished and devastated that i could do nothing but live among them and now and they just look at me suffering living in poverty and they're like eh, whatever happened to you leaving i feel dumb you know the lord will humble those who exalt them who exalt themselves and he will exalt those who humble themselves and what he has done with me is humble me and god and he forcing me to be in an environment that i don't frankly want to be in the prison i can't get out i can't dust my feet off like christ did with Corazan and Bethsaida. Um, I'm still in Nineveh for whatever reason. A prophet has no honor in his own hometown. Came to do very many miracles over here, and I am hitting brick walls, and I don't know what to do. I want to tamagas pizza parafini, but God just kept me here. Ungi kipishile ampa, and I'm like, God and the the environment. God, I ain't the tandi. Nama inside tandi. Funugamba jemna niyo ba independent niyo ba unelifatadon yo yo disa nam jenge bed. 
Check us for fun, Lena Gilon Diza God. And Funuka, my grandchild, grandchild, we feel like that's why he rapture in a young again. Zagali just yet. Where the rapture act, where the rapture act, I want to leave. And yet I'm still here all these years down the line. I mean, I never wanted to be Lanakotan Gilan. So God has a way about bringing people back to where they need to be because God knows what is good for us, even though we don't. So I told you guys that I had um, an abuser that walked up in my life calling himself a, Christ, a Christian. This man, reached out to me. We fell in love. Turned out to be a witch. Wangi, Shukmeza. Then ghosted me. Following ghosting me, he then regretted ghosting me. And now he tried to come back. And the way that he always tries to reel me back in is by just sending me gifts and gifts and gifts. And I'm like, 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 I'm America to when I got the dollar as a hard hold that bomb up into lots and lots of rents. Lost me eight. I can't hold on. Three. Uncle Hale. After I came to the Uncle Hale, I don't grab deliverance because he is into the account at all. So I know I think Uncle Hale. But I tell you, I blew me my account too. So I was like, okay, so let's think of this 3.5 some uh, like box. Get a good lady in Balong and a toilet easy, whatever it is that I need. Stuff to make sure that my acne clears and Tonya Nazi Juallo or my piper pigmentation. And then the Lord reminded me that I've been wanting to monetize my written blog my wordpress account where i type i'm a writer i've always been a writer it's one thing the one gift that i've never second guessed or doubt all my life and when i came to christ it was of course the first gift that i used to honor the king of the universe but my wordpress account has had a wordpress domain uh, and so i couldn't monetize i couldn't get ad revenue i couldn't get uh, donations i couldn't get anything done on there and finally um i got this money and the lord reminded me that girl well, remember you said you wanted to monetize your wordpress account well, it's gonna cost you a thousand six hundred bucks to get your domain because it's ninety six dollars or something. And lo and behold, I remembered that, so I took some of that money and I bought a domain. So now I have got my own website with my own domain, Cranberry Chronicles with a Z dot com, and on it I can get AdSense revenue alongside receive donations if other people want to. And the Lord was like, "This is how you're going to finance for crying out loud." Basic things like your skincare creams and what have you is not gonna make you a millionaire you haven't arrived you need to gather for yourself a great boost of people but at least you're not going to be relying on a woman you need a new change of brakes you need to wash it girl you also are in dire need of draining gym since you left that like random ugly ugly twerking that i didn't like you doing you are in dire need of having just your basic needs met and on top of that will I add my life feet on but a laptop on but a laptop about a macbook pro we can tell you about a macbook pro well girl this is how you're gonna get your mac pro it won't pay your bills it's a rent day young to go for life if they live in the water and electricity but it will over the months that wordpress account is gonna buy your laptop and get your car to tip top condition so that you don't have any trouble at all once you have that going you're gonna be able to go to the gym every day however many times a day you want because you have gym membership money to basically pay your way go gymming so no more Working, no more random stuff. How about the Lord Joanna Capoeira? You can go and join Capoeira, go Melville, or Lord Jimale Banabang, Baratan Capoeira, Libona, or Sang Offende, Gaho Java, or Haho Ho Sensual. I have given you an avenue over the next year or so to basically get your basic needs met and to grow your audience. And already Facebook is the, like singing your praises and ululating, and now you have to go and fetch those guys from TikTok so that by the time you ultimately break out to a point where you can afford to buy a property, not so much a property, so Mara to move out of your mother's house you will have everything absolutely everything that uh you need foundationally and basically so i was like huh huh okay next part